Hey, what's up? Hello. What? I'm trying to like think of something natural to say. Well, what's up? Hey, so I'm sure you know who Billie Eilish is. I feel like a lot of people do right now. I love you, Billie Eilish. Like, you're amazing. I really want to go to SF to see you. So, yes, I don't think she's watching this. I've done so much research on Billie and I think it's just amazing. I'm like mind blown by it, like how talented this girl is. She has really unique style, amazing music, and overall is like a really inspiring person. She's super well-spoken and I just love how she kind of lives in a way like the way she comes up with her videos she writes songs with her brother which i think is super cool her whole family is a part of it she started when she was 11 and she describes her style as being like judged she loves being judged so i'm gonna be living like billie eilish for a day i'm not trying to be her but i'm trying to see what it's like to be like her like stepping out of my comfort zone i'm gonna be dyeing my hair like billie which i'm so excited about i'm gonna be bleaching it and then i'm also gonna be dressing like her for a day Wearing that baggy, you like very unique look for a day and just seeing what it's like to step out of my comfort zone like that much. Sure, I've stepped out of my comfort zone for certain videos, but no. This is like completely new, completely different. And two months ago, I dyed my hair blue and a lot of people said like, oh, you look like Billie Eilish with that hair. I didn't actually bleach my hair in that video. So this video, I'm actually gonna be bleaching my hair. I'm really excited. I'm really nervous about the hair part and just going out in public with like that baggy of like clothing and like the chains, the jewelry, like everything. I'm just gonna see what it's like. Also, she's gluten-free and vegan. Her favorite meal is guacamole and chips and mashed potatoes. I'm gonna eat all of that and she swears a lot like that's something she does do which I think is like pretty funny because like I feel like a lot of us do swear I don't personally on my channel because I don't really like to swear that much but for this video I am gonna swear when I feel like it but I'm, I'm gonna beep it out because I don't want to like get demonetized or anything but so yeah I'm gonna be really like stepping out of my comfort zone for this video so let's get started so for the first step of starting to look like Billie Eilish and like step out of my comfort zone is gonna be dyeing my hair I'm gonna bleach it my whole goal for like bleaching my hair is I really don't want my hair to turn green or yellow because that's very common when you bleach your hair and dye it blue it will like fade to green and I really don't want green I'm gonna probably fade to a lavender that's what I'm looking for Kelly is my hairstylist and she's going to be coming to my house and we're going to dye my hair here which is gonna be so nice because sitting in a salon for super long is really annoying so this could take up to seven hours because of the bleaching and then dyeing. I'm very nervous but I'm excited for it so let's get started no 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 no, no. wait I have to be more like Billy let's get started these right here are the pictures that we're gonna be like recreating. I wanna definitely do like a cool toned blue, like a dash of lavender blue. So it fades to like a lavender, so we don't have any green going on. Is this the bleach right here? Yes, this is the Redken Flash Lift we'll be using. This is the bleach powder, and then this Ooh. is the developer. We're gonna be mixing 10 and 30 volume to make 20, so that we'll start at the back of the head and get that slow lift so we're not over processing our hair. It can okay. take anywhere from an hour for some people to 10 minutes for others more or less depending on the texture and type of hair. Sweet. We're gonna do that and then we're gonna go through like the colors what we're gonna be using. We're gonna be swatching them so you can see them and I can see them but bleach is the first process. I'm like nervous for this part because like I have never bleached my hair. I would say we're about three quarters of the way done. This is what it looks like. Super cool. I'm so excited. I'm so curious to see what it's gonna look like. What color is it at right now? It is currently kind of yellow through most of your hair, but where we had that previous color dye, it's lifting wonky, so it is pink and kind of reddish. So it's gonna fade all the way to yellow, or not yellow, like blonde, hopefully, if everything goes smoothly. We're gonna keep going. We're about halfway. We've got the bulk of your hair under here, but we're gonna do some pretty close highlight blending, so that way it's fully blended when you grow your hair out. And that's what we want, because we don't want it to like grow out like a straight line. <sighs> I wonder if Billy went through this exact same process. <laughs> no, I'm sure she did. Everyone does to bleach their hair. But look at all these layers. That is crazy. Am I already looking like Billy? We're taking out the foils. Oh my God, it's blonde. No way. Oh my gosh, you can see the difference right here. 
That is crazy. We're finishing up a few of the last pieces that we're bleaching. It is now 6 11. So this is what it looks like right here. Look at that blonde, blonde, blonde. You guys can see where my old blue hair was it turned pink for some reason but it's gonna fade to like a nice purple once we put the blue on top of it the back looking oh wait you can't see it because we have like a little thingy over it just in case it drips that's what we're looking like now we're gonna rinse it it's still fiona but blonde and then we have the roots still peeking through here which i really like i feel like it like Makes my face look more like... More facey. Yeah, more facey. I guess that's the word. It's 9.30. So now we're going to put the toner in it to make it a little more cool toned than the dye. But that is Fiona Blonde right here. I think... I don't know about blonde Fiona, but blue Fiona, yes. We just toned my hair, it's up in a towel right now. We're gonna blow dry it, then we're gonna put the dye in, which is the last step. It is 10.32 right now, and we have all these colors to make it less like flat and less cartoon-like and more like realistic. I feel like it's mainly probably gonna be this one right here. We're gonna get started. We just did the toner, so we can see that there is a bit more blue tones, a bit more cool tones. We still have a bit of like the yellow, but we're going in with the dye. We're working on the roots because we're gonna be doing dark roots, then the rest, a lot of tones of lighter colors. I'm getting a little tired. I'm getting like giggly tired. It's loopy. Yep, the loopy tiredness. It is now 1.36. Kelly just left and I get to rinse my hair out at 2 a.m. We literally have been working for 13 hours. This is crazy. No, we did not take breaks. I just have extremely thick hair and it took a lot longer to bleach than we were expecting. I'll show you in the morning how it looks, but I'm gonna rinse it out and I'll see you tomorrow. I am literally so dead. It is the next morning and this is the hair. We have so many tones in here. There's like some purpley spots, some more blue spots, which I think looks so good. It makes it look more natural. If blue could look natural, it would look like, I feel like this. Right now, it is outfit prep day. So we're gonna go to the mall and pick out an outfit that Billy would wear. So very baggy, very unique and different and bold. And I have to feel kind of judged in it. So I have to be out of my comfort zone. So we're gonna go pick that out. We're now at the mall and I'm not gonna be recreating a outfit of hers like not a specific outfit but i'm gonna be pulling like pieces bits and pieces from like all of her outfits so we can like really create her look but for cheaper because i'm not about to spend like a lot how much is a louis vuitton shirt i don't even know and i already bought chains and watches on amazon so all we're gonna get is rings in the outfit the shoes actually that's still a lot everyone's like looking at my hair like, i can just feel it like it feels so weird Oh my. I'm gonna go into Fresh Society because they have a lot of like really like baggy, very different and like out of the box clothing. I feel like low key these two things would be very billy, but I feel like this could kind of work. And then like shoes like these, I feel like these ones right here. I'm gonna continue looking here because they have a lot of like bigger clothing that I could get like a very big, big size in. And this has like a drawstring so I can make it smaller on my waist so like they stay up. She also wears a lot of like Playboy Bunny. I'm just like looking everywhere. I'm finding some really good outfits. They're gonna be like perfect. So I'm excited. I'm gonna get this ring. Look how cool this is. I think this is so Billy. We're now looking for shoes. There's some really sick ones on the men's side. And then there's some really cool ones up here. My outfit is kind of like a yellow theme. I'm gonna pick out something from in here and show you guys tomorrow. I will show you the outfit that I picked out. It's a lot and I'm like nervous to wear it in public. Like I know I'm gonna get super self-conscious, but I'll pull it out for you right now and then I'm gonna do my makeup 
get dressed, put my hair like how she normally does it. I'm gonna be recreating this image of her hair and then this image of her makeup. She does super natural makeup. She brings out her eyebrows and her lips. Does very little like concealer and color on her face. The space button image is one of the most liked pictures on her Instagram, so I'm gonna be doing that. And um, yeah, let me show you the outfit. I bought these Nike. They're actually little boy's shoes. I think these are actually really, really sick. These right here were $90. I tried to make the outfit pretty affordable in the grand scheme of like Billie Eilish because she wears so many high-end brands. These were $49.99. I got them in an extra large and I got men's. Then we have a shirt and this was from PacSun. I saw this shirt in the window and I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. So it's a Playboy bunny shirt and then it ties in the shoes like look how nice that like ties in and this shirt right here from PacSun was $24.95 this jacket is the statement piece of this whole look it really does tie in the colors it's a chain jacket. I'm not gonna zip it up. I'm gonna leave it open. I also got a bunch of rings and we have this one finger ring which kind of looks like armor for like one finger. So then I got these chains and then look at this watch. This watch looks so cool. It's like super blingy. Also this jacket was around 50 and all the chains, the earrings, the bracelet, and then all the rings together were $100. So that was the price of each of them separately. I'll have it calculated on the screen. Oh my god, I'm like shaking to like like wear this. This is this is a lot. It is time to get ready. I'm gonna be recreating this picture from Billy. I think I'm gonna first just start off by like covering my under eyes a little bit. Now I'm gonna go into eyebrows. I'm gonna fill in the back part of my brow a little bit more and make it a little bushier, like right here, because she has like the Kind of fluff right there. I'll use a brow gel to kind of like bring my eyebrow hairs up so it looks a little more fluffy. Oh my god, my eyebrows look so bold right now. Now I'm gonna go in with a bit of lip liner because Billy has humongous, like puffy, perfect lips. So I'm gonna like overline my lips a little bit with just a very natural color lip liner. I think the makeup looks pretty good. It's very like simple. I'm just like trying to enhance my eyebrows and my lips like Billy does. Now I'm gonna take down the hair and we're gonna do the half up, half down space buns. I'm gonna section off this part of my hair and then just put it up in a space bun. In the picture, it looks like Billy's hair is growing out and that's kind of what mine looks like. So I think that's pretty fitting. Oh wait, that one's a bit wonky. Her space buns are super messy though, so I'm like debating on just like kind of leaving it, pulling out a few pieces, making it look more messy. You know what? I've never done this. I'm gonna try to cover my beauty mark. Oh my gosh, this feels so weird. I'm like kind of shook that it looks pretty like realistic. Okay, I think it is time to get dressed. We're gonna look at the outfit. I haven't seen it on. I am a bit scared. I kind of feel like Billie Eilish. Holy shiz. This is like a fit though. Like, whoa, I did a good job. I'm impressed with myself. I'm gonna feel a bit interesting walking around, but at the same time, because she has already like worn like stuff like this out in public, I feel like that makes me more confident like that. I can do it. It's not the most me outfit, but I actually like really like it. I fucks with it. Like it's cool. The jacket I feel like really completes the outfit. These are the chains right here. The rings look really cool. I feel like Billie Eilish right now. <laughs> this is cool. Okay, guys, I'm not gonna put the contacts in right now because I have to go. I wish I had my Dodge Challenger. I believe that's the car that D Billy drives, but no, we're gonna be driving a Mustang. Not the same, but still like a muscle car because that's her favorite kind of car. Interesting fact. Here we go. This is the outfit in like natural light. This is my hair. I feel like it looks a lot like a Billie Eilish outfit. I just heard laughing and then there was a car we drove by and he just stared at me and I was just like, 
I'm not uncomfortable. I'm like, I got this, but I feel the judging happening. I'm in a really busy restaurant and it feels weird. I feel so like judged, but I kind of am starting to like it in a way. And it's only been like an hour. I'm so happy that Billy is gluten-free and vegan because that's pretty much what I am. It's so perfect because I can eat like almost everything she does. Guacamole. <laughs> We left the restaurant. We're going into Lulu, which I feel like is very opposite to what I'm wearing right now. I'm in Lululemon right now. I'm gonna get leggings. We're now at Starbucks, which you can kind of see over there. And when Ocean Eyes started taking off, Billie Eilish's brother called her when she was at Starbucks and was like, Ocean Eyes is like getting huge, like, what did it do? So I thought we had to go to Starbucks just for that reason. I have no idea what Billie Eilish orders. I couldn't find anything on like her favorite drink. Maybe she's just like a water girl. She likes just water. I don't know. I have to summon my inner Billie for a little bit. Oh, by the way, I'm in Starbucks. I'm in the bathroom because I'm sometimes a little shy to film in like the Starbucks because it's so quiet. I ordered a almond milk latte ice. I'm just gonna guess that because it's like a strong drink. I feel like she's a strong girl. That's what I was going for. I was gonna put the like name as Billy, but I forgot. Like I completely forgot. I was just like Fiona and I didn't want to be like, never mind, Billy. And the girl would look at me really weird. I'm now going to my best friend's house. She doesn't know that I'm wearing this. We're gonna see her reaction. My buns are uneven, but I'll, I'll adjust them later. I'm too lazy. Wiping my paws. I'm now with Megan. She hasn't seen me in person since I've dyed my hair. So what you, what you thinking about it? I really like the hair. Oh, I see. But it's not that I don't like the outfit. It doesn't really seem like you, you know? Not What's a rating? Like one out of 10. I give it a six out of 10. Six out of 10? Okay, that's not bad. Like a seven out of 10, yeah. Okay, okay. So my dad just picked me up from Megan's house. Honestly, it wasn't as bad as I was expecting. I was definitely judged and I was looked at a lot, but like I was confident enough that I didn't like feel too out there. I kind of enjoy Billy's style. I will agree with her on like being judged can be very like, I don't know, it makes you feel good because you feel like you accomplished something, you like stepped out of your comfort zone. And I would recommend for you to do it too. Like it's, it feels good. I think Barrett might come over later today. She will see what she thinks of the outfit and the hair in general. So, yeah. Barrett, what do you think of the Billie Eilish outfit? Okay, honestly, I saw you walk in and I was like, Billie Eilish who? Like, uh, I know. literally you look just like her. Oh my God, really? I didn't get that reaction once, like with anyone. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. I see no difference, Billie Eilish. Yeah. Fiona. Yep, no difference. No difference? <laughs> no difference. Do you see me like wearing this outfit or is it just like a Billy outfit? I do not see you wearing it. I agree. That's definitely a Billy outfit. I don't see you wearing gold watches. No. Playboy, it's a bit excessive for Fiona Frills. I've definitely seen you wear like a bunch of bling on your neck before. I dig it. Usually it's not that big though. The rings are like Partially, this one, no, Fiona. So I feel like overall, what would you rate it? Like one to 10? 10. 10? Like literally no difference. Okay, heck yeah. Thank you, Barrett. And now it is time to put the color contacts in. I'm gonna put this one in my eyeball. I'm a bit scared. I don't know why it doesn't wanna go in my eyeball. Are my eyes blue? I can't tell. They're like blue fading into brown. Oh yeah, you're right, there is a blue rim. That does not look like Billy right there. I cannot, Oh, much better. It is the end of the day. I put in the color contacts, I wore the outfit, I did my hair. I did feel like I stood out a lot, but I feel like it was a cool like, not like learning experience, but like kind of, where I felt very out of my comfort zone, but it was like refreshing. Like it felt like I did something good. I was like, yes, go Fiona. I did something like out of my comfort zone. I dyed my hair, which I have never really, really wanted to bleach my hair. So I did that out of my comfort zone. I wore a bunch of baggy clothing, which is also out of my comfort zone. I just wore like an outfit in general out of my comfort zone. I wanted to thank Billie Eilish for inspiring this because obviously I wouldn't be doing this video without her. She's amazing. Keep doing what you're doing, girl. I love you and I know a bunch of people love you as well. I think this video was very like, 
I, I learned a lot from it. I hope you learned a lot from it. I hope you step out of your comfort zone. I dare you to like step out of your comfort zone tomorrow and just like wear something you wouldn't normally wear or mix like patterns that you wouldn't normally like mix. Do something very small, but you can like build up to something bigger. Never forget, I love you and I hope you enjoyed. But before you go, what do you think? Do you think I did a good job recreating her looks? Let me know. Um, but yes, bye.